Oh, every single time. Hey, everybody. It's Brooke with the Buttered Home and... Tanner. Tanner! <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't sure if you wanted to introduce me or me introduce myself. Welcome to Messy Kitchen Monday on a Tuesday. And if we look like we're, we're hogging the camera or getting off camera, it's because we have two, two cameras. We are live streaming on Facebook and on Instagram, so... There's just no no good center here. Yes, ma'am. I was asking if I needed to move the camera back. No, you messed it up. It's fine. It's okay. It's all right. We'll. Well, my foot. Everybody's looking at the ceiling. <laughs> Don't lie to your sister. That's not nice. I can tell. Anyway, welcome to Messy Kitchen Monday on a Tuesday, and we are celebrating a month of cooking with your kids. Last week, I cooked with my youngest, Reagan, who is our fill-in producer for Tanner tonight. Uh, Tanner finally decided after so many weeks to grace us with a present. I mean, so good, work. Yeah, so anyway, I made her be on with me tonight because she's an old kid, but she's still my kid. So... <laughs> Anyway, tonight we have a really good dish for you that kids of any age would love, and it's tater tot casserole. Now, I know to a lot of you older kids, that probably doesn't sound very appealing, but I promise you it's quick, it's easy, it makes your weeknight simple, and it's something you can do any other time with your children, uh, whatever children you have in your life. So it's a really fun recipe to have and make, and it also is very good. And it costs, I mean, it's cheap to make. So uh, it's a win all the way around to me. But tonight we're really excited because we're also gonna draw for our hardened seasoning at the end of the show. <clears throat> and I took, painstakingly went through all the shares of all the videos for our National Barbecue Month last month. Uh, and did entries for people who tagged, entries for people who shared, and all that good stuff. And first and foremost, thank you very much for you all doing that as well. Because uh, that means the world to me. We've picked up a ton of new likes and on Facebook, and I know that that has everything to do with those of you who have been so kind to share it. Don't let the sharing stop though. Just because we're not having a contest, we want to build up our blog anniversary is coming up in July. And I'd really like to hit 4,000 likes on Facebook. And I know it's a ways off, but I know that you can do it. <laughs> so uh, that's our goal. Um, but tonight we're going to get started and what I have, and you know, I've already made half of it. So it, if it doesn't look like a lot, I'm not going to give you the measurements because uh, they won't be what I'm doing and I'll get all have huge blonde moments and <laughs> we'll mess it all up. So I have some browned ground beef that I have seasoned with onion powder and garlic powder, not garlic salt when I cooked it and it's been drained and I've got it in a bowl. <clears throat> now this is going to be the uh, bottom or the base of the casserole and it's really, really good. And to this, we are going to add all of our other ingredients. So Tanner, if you will grab the corn, we have whole kernel corn and it's been drained and that goes in. And then we have the cream of mushroom soup. Yeah, well, that's what I got that right there for. Tanner does know how to cook, full disclosure. Even though she might not act this like it. This is not a left-handed task. Well, why didn't you use your right hand? Because <laughs> I don't do Facebook TV. Yeah, well, tonight you do. So, all right, we got our cream and mushroom soup. And you can just drop that in there. And then we have some milk. Oh gosh. Be careful. It's Messy Kitchen Tuesday, Monday on a Tuesday, so just drop that in. <laughs> it jumped up everywhere, but it all stayed in the bowl. Yay! And then we have some sour cream. Now, what's great about all these components is this really doesn't have a lot of calories in it, but if you wanted to make a much lighter version of this casserole, you could. You could use fat-free sour cream, or uh, if you're watching your dairy, you could totally use uh, Greek unflavored Greek yogurt. 
You can also get lower sodium or lower fat cream of mushroom soup and use that. Um, and of course, like we're using 2% milk here, so that helps uh, kind of cut down on your calorie count as well. Um, and the corn, you can uh, get a lower sodium of the corn, but corn is not usually really has a lot of salt in it. So if you're watching your salt intake. So we're just gonna mix these up in our bowl with our ground beef. And this is also really good with ground turkey. So like I said, these recipes are so basic, you can make them calorie friendly and you can add a little pop of something else. Like if you wanted to add some uh, bell peppers in here or some real onion instead of onion powder. We just tried to make these as basic as we could so that kids in your life can help you do this and it be easy for them. So you do the hard work and you let them do the fun part, which is mixing it up. And I should let you do that because that's the fun part, right? All right, so we're gonna take a uh, bacon pan that's been lightly sprayed with um, some canola oil. And then Tanner, I'm gonna let you dump that in there. Show everybody what a good cook you are. <laughs> Also, if you have any questions too, feel free to ask them. Reagan has disappeared, but she's supposed to be moderating our questions. <laughs> so Cliff just called me basic. <laughs> and then she's gonna spread that evenly in the pan. And then to this, I mean, you can't have a, a, anything that's called casserole if you don't put cheese in it right. So you can get a lower fat alternative for the cheese as well. And we're gonna sprinkle that on top and make sure that we get all of our corners covered too. And we'll wait. <laughs> <laughs> what do they say crust to crust is a must? It's not crust on here, but. No, but you do wanna make sure that all of your edges and your corners are covered. And, and if your daddy was in here, he would say, more cheese, more cheese, please. So <clears throat> now <clears throat> that is pretty good in and of itself, but we're going to make it better. And after all, it is tater tot casserole. So we're going to put just a cute little design and we're going to put these tater tots in a line. And Tanner, if you want to take some and start from the other corner there, you can. And I like doing them side to side, diagonally like this, just simply because um, it creates a cute little pattern. And you have a row of one, then a row of two, and then a row of three, and then a row of four. And it's just fun. And if you have kids, um, this is a good time, like if they're real young, to count with them, teach them how to count. They can count the tater tots, you know, little things like that. So. It's always a lot of fun. Tanner, do you need help learning how to count? Maybe. Maybe, baby. <laughs> and then we just go, make sure you fill in to those corners just like that. You can put your extras in there. So we have this cute little side-to-side -side design. Yes, ma'am, Reagan. It says more cheese. More cheese, please. I hear you, Big B. Always, always more cheese, please. So this goes into a 375 degree oven for about 40, 45 minutes, and it comes out like this. It's all brown and bubbly, and your tater tots have browned and they're crispy. You can tap them and hear them, and it's just absolutely perfect. And that ground beef mixture and all has gotten really yummy and cooked through and all that cheese is melted and it's fantastic. Like I said, it is good for kids of any age. We'll enjoy this. And even though Reagan's here, I'm the one on camera. So you get to eat? <laughs> so that is tater tot casserole. And if our friends Tyler and Shallon are watching, I hope you noticed that our, our dish was intact tonight. Nobody got in it beforehand. Uh, kudos to them for catching us last week and seeing that we snuck us a brownie beforehand, didn't they, Reagan? They caught us. 
Anyway, that's tater tot casserole. This recipe will drop later in the week and have all the measurements that you need uh, so that you can cook this for your family or with your family and bring your kids in too and have just lots of fun. It really doesn't take a long time. And then when you sit down together to eat, it's just, just enjoyable because the kids have enjoyed making it and then they can brag um, to people that they cook supper. And then maybe before long, you won't have to anymore, right? Are you hiding over there? She took the whole dish. Uh, <laughs> you didn't catch that? Oh, so it's time. We are gonna do our big giveaway. We love hardened seasoning here at The Buttered Home and they have not paid me to do this. They, um, I just love them so much that I want to share the hardened seasoning love with people and uh, giving away their classic seasoning so that um, you can enjoy it just as good as we do here at the Buttered Home. So we're gonna draw for that. Oh, Reagan's gonna draw for that. And I have all of our people's names in here. All right, just pull one out. Wait, you drop, uh-uh, uh-uh, put that back in there. Now shake it up again. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna draw. Mary Ann Fannin. <gasps> Mary Ann Fannin! Yay! Mary Ann, you won this great hardened season, and I will get with you after we are done here so that we can work out uh, getting um, this to you at a safe social distance. So uh, that's great. We love sharing the hardens love with all of our people. Um, we hope that you all will continue to tune in with us. Are you done eating? No. You're not done eating? You just can't okay, finish that plate. But. Oh, okay. But she's not done. Where's the, where's the dish? Don't matter. Oh. Anyway, so we're about to have a sibling war in here over. I'll take one and you take the other. this casserole. <laughs> and, and Big D's not in here. When he gets in here, he'll settle it real quick. <laughs> So we hope you've enjoyed this. We hope you'll be with us next week. Uh-uh, get a plate, Reagan. That's what I'm doing. Okay. She had the whole pan with a fork stuck in it. No, that's your, that's your spoon. Yeah. Oh, okay, sure, sure. Anyhow, we hope you will join us next week because we have something even more fabulous than this on deck. And uh, we will, should, Lord willing and the creek don't rise, we should be back with you on Monday night next week. So we had a great vacation and we just, it was rough yesterday trying to get back in the swing of things. So we appreciate you being here with us tonight on a Tuesday. So from the buttered home to your home, we love y'all. Bye.